Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's lesson on MRI pulse sequence diagrams. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the different parts of a pulse sequence diagram, identify both spin echo and gradient echo pulse sequence diagrams, and explain how these diagrams illustrate the timing of pulse sequences. These diagrams help you visualize and manage the complex interactions within the MRI machine that lead to high-quality imaging. By mastering this, you can optimize scan parameters for the best results and enhance patient safety. Let's take a look at a pulse sequence diagram as a whole. A pulse sequence diagram is a graphical representation of the sequence of events that happen during a scan. It provides a detailed view of how radio frequency, or RF pulses, gradient fields, and signal acquisitions are timed and organized to create an MRI image. The first line in a pulse sequence diagram depicts the RF pulses. Remember, RF pulses excite the magnetic moments of the hydrogen nuclei in the body. In a pulse sequence diagram, these are usually represented as a sine wave or a block. The next line depicts the slice selection gradient, or SSG. You may see this labeled as G sub S. Slice selection is achieved through a gradient applied along one axis of the patient's body, typically represented by a small trapezoid or curve on the gradient channel of the diagram. This determines which slice of the body will be imaged by causing only protons in a specific region to resonate at the frequency of the RF pulse. You will also notice that the SSG turns on with each RF pulse. The third line depicts the phase encoding gradient, or PEG. You may see this labeled as G sub P. Phase encoding is demonstrated as a series of stepped lines or spikes along the phase encoding gradient line. It varies the phase of the signal across the body, enabling the MRI scanner to differentiate between signals from different locations within the slice. The phase encoding gradient is turned on after the slice selection gradient is turned off. The PEG alters its strength multiple times throughout a pulse sequence, so the number of stepped lines or spikes indicate the number of changes in the PEG over the course of the MRI scan. The next line depicts the frequency encoding gradient, or FEG. You may see this labeled as G sub F, also known as readout gradient, it is sometimes shown as a trapezoidal or rectangular shape on the frequency encoding gradient line. It encodes information based on the frequency of the signals received, essential for creating the image. The length and height of the shape on the frequency encoding gradient line also depicts the duration and amplitude of the FEG, which is also known as the sampling time. The next line depicts the free induction decay, the FID, and the echo, also called the signal. The FID and the echo appear as signal peaks on the diagram, with the FID usually being about half of the echo. The echo signal peak represents the point at which the MRI scanner captures the returning signal, which is used to form the image. The final lines we'll discuss depict the TR and TE periods. These are depicted along the horizontal axis of the diagram with other events shown in relation to this timeline, allowing technologists to understand the sequence's pace and synchronization. It is important to note that these lines do not always appear on pulse sequence diagrams. Spin echo and gradient echo pulse sequences appear differently in pulse sequence diagrams. In a spin echo pulse sequence diagram, look for an RF pulse followed by a rephasing pulse with corresponding slice selection gradients. The echo forms when the spins are refocused. Gradient echo sequences are identified by the absence of an RF rephasing pulse and shorter echo times depicted on the diagram. They are faster and used when examining properties like blood flow or dynamic processes within the body. Gradient echo sequences differ by using a variable angle excitation pulse and replace the rephasing pulse with a manipulation of the pulse from the FEG. Let's take a look at a pulse sequence diagram and see if you can determine what type of pulse sequence it depicts. Look carefully at the picture. What type of pulse sequence does it depict? This diagram depicts a gradient echo pulse sequence. 
Note that there is no 180-degree rephasing pulse. In summary, pulse sequence diagrams are a graphical representation of the sequence of events that happen during a scan. Each pulse sequence diagram contains a line for the RF pulses, the slice select gradient, the phase encoding gradient, the frequency encoding gradient, the echo, and the timing of the scan components.